The Tesla Model Y takes EVs Elite past their current status. There are still uncertainties about slight variances in battery size and motor power, but there are two official models, a long range and a performance, both with a 75 kilowatt hour battery capacity. This video has all you have to know. Cons to expect. The ride quality can be fragile on the 20-inch induction rims with the low-profile 255-40 section rubber. The Tesla Model Y can crash through potholes in the city, become quite jiggly when bumps arrive thick and fast, and transmit the sensation of coarse freeway ripples. It's no surprise that the back end rattles from time to time. There seems to be a little more tire and wind noise on the highway than in the quietest rolling EVs. Furthermore, the driving experience is much sportier than the driving posture. Some may not mind the crossover's higher riding height, but I felt like a budging on a perch, bending forward to see where the wise stubby nose ends. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, debuted the Tesla Model Y. For those who have forgotten, the Model Y's chassis, battery, and electric motors are shared with the Model 3 sedan. Though Tesla intends a 4,680 battery and chassis improvement. More on that later. The Tesla Model Y is unlocked by placing a credit card style key on the B pillar. It's tricky to find the appropriate location, but it's basically pointless because most users will use near field communication to unlock the doors on their smartphones. As soon as you get going, three things strike you. The Tesla Model Y is wonderfully quiet in town. As you'd expect from an EV, the suspension feels quite firm, and the sensors build a reassuringly accurate image of your surroundings, which is communicated on the enormous but solitary touchscreen. The competition While the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 have a lot in common, the former is a saloon sedan, and the latter is an SUV. This is especially noticeable in the more bulbous back end. The added height allows for a higher driving position and more headroom. On the other hand, the Y's interior is identical to the 3's, but for the contentious lack of a dashboard display. This is the Model 3 facelift interior, which has a matte rather than a glossy surface and higher quality stitching than the original Model 3. Seats are available in black or white, with the latter costing $1,500 or £1,100. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more interesting Tesla coverages and turn on post notifications. Cargo Capacity As a result, the European Y7 seats will not be a selling factor. If you are debating between a Tesla Model 3 and a Tesla Model Y, cargo carrying capacity is likely the determining factor. The Model 3 isn't lacking, but the Tesla Model Y is in another league. For starters, it features a hatchback and the boot trunk bed is flat to the edge. The Tesla Model Y has 854 liters, two compartments on either side, and a small section further forward, thanks to the room under the floor. Does this level of convenience inflate the price? Don't worry, as we'll soon let you in on that. Which of the vehicles is your favorite, the Model 3 or the Model Y? Leave your answer in the comments. The cargo space expands to 1,869 liters. When the rear seats are pushed forward, more than any other EV in its class, including the unusually capacious Skoda Enyaq IV. Only long objects may be slid forward in the center compartment, and there are controls at the back of the boot to remotely unlock the rear seats, something we've only seen on expensive cars. There's also a large frunk with 117 liters of storage space, enough for a couple of overnight bags on its own. Tesla boasts that the new Tesla Model Y can carry 2,100 liters of luggage, and the 2022 Tesla Model Y can also tow up to 1,600 kilograms. However, there is no price for this yet, and you can't specify it ahead of time. Luxury features, cruise control, entertainment, range. Also, the 2022 Tesla retains most of Tesla's distinctive benefits. The central panel, which also houses the speedometer, may get used to it. However, if you purchase the premium connectivity option, it offers a large sat-nav screen with live traffic. This also has Spotify music streaming built-in and Netflix, which looks fantastic on the 15-inch central screen. While you cannot view movies while driving, 
This is a terrific way to pass the time while charging or waiting for your children to return from an after-school program. You can use your smartphone as a hotspot if you don't have premium connectivity. If you prefer the premium connectivity option, give the video a thumbs up. While taking all that is, please don't get too impressed yet. We're yet to go into details on the interior. All the juicy information is coming shortly. Furthermore, Autopilot Adaptive Cruise Control is included in all automobiles. This allows you to identify cars in front of you and brake accordingly with stop and go in motionless traffic and enables you to engage auto steer. This will navigate turns for you on a freeway or dual carriageway. However, we wouldn't recommend utilizing it on an AE road. For $4,650, you can get enhanced autopilot, which includes most of the previously only available features with full self-driving, such as automatic lane changing and auto parking. You'll also get Summit, which allows you to lead the car out of or into a parking space where the doors are too narrow to open. If you're in love with Tesla, like we are, we have another info pack video here. Tesla AI Day Top 5 Highlights of Elon Must Tesla AI Day Pricing Unsurprisingly, the Model Y Tesla is a highly appealing bundle. The performance is $88,900 while the long range is $75,250, and that's $18,000 and $27,000 more expensive than in the United States. The long range and performance models are cheaper in Germany than in the United Kingdom, costing $65,900 and $74,000. In other words, the performance in Germany is less expensive than the long range in the United Kingdom. Additionally, the color options are the same and quite limited, only white, $1,500 for black, gray, or blue, or $2,900 for red. The panoramic sunroof is a subtle difference that you only realize once inside the car. The Tesla Model Y has taken a long time to arrive in the United Kingdom. It has been available for purchase in the United States since March 2020. Since August, it has also been in China from the beginning of 2021 and in Europe. It is now available for purchase in the United Kingdom, with initial deliveries scheduled for March 2022. That is unlikely to deter the new Tesla model Y from becoming a huge success. It's still indisputably superior to rival electric SUVs in its price range in almost every way, with class-leading trunk space and excellent driving characteristics. The Model 3, its stablemate, will be its most formidable competitor. If you don't require the large boot, the Model 3 is a better buy than the Tesla Model Y because it has a more extended range and superior performance in handling. On the other hand, the Model Y should be at the top of your list if you want the best load-loving electric SUV in this price range. Tesla's less is more approach to the Tesla Model Y's cockpit is now familiar. With no driver's instruments and entire reliance on the center touchscreen for operations, such as the speedometer and initiating side mirror adjustment. The screen is a visual joy with a stunning clear map, an enormous digital keypad that pops up to enter nav locations, and a breathtaking pinch and zoom feature. Interior. However, it is not without flaws. You'd miss Apple CarPlay's straightforward approach of collecting all of your leading smartphone apps on one page, and voice control is disappointingly ignorant. The screen's main feature is how sensors create a graphical depiction of your surroundings, nearby vehicles, pedestrian warnings, traffic signals, and roadside trash cans have all been carefully recreated. Elon Musk draws inspiration for his Model S played version from the film Spaceballs, but judging by the wise fixation with orange traffic cones, he's also a fan of Kinead's. Thank you for watching today's release. It's always lovely to have you here. We'll see you next.